No. <laughs> Oh. These bags are filled with sawdust from the floor. Almost 40 big bags. Looking nice. So I thought uh, that uh, the ripping off part starts to be ob over and I get to build something new for a change but uh, there's uh, still a few more things to do before I can start building a new those wall wall poles which hold on the roof and upstairs beams they are also rotten from from their backside I just took one off and one beam off from there so I have to change them too but I think I just changed the down part and build the floor and the upper part I'm gonna repair later what's up and I have to change that beam to which one I didn't think I have to do but it's rotten from that spot where the drain pipe comes And it's holding up that wall, whole wall and the beams in the roof. So it might be a little bit tricky to change because those, those poles are the carry, carry, kantavasena, carrying wall. They are carrying that upstairs. These first, these three, and then I, then when I got that done. I have to change that somehow. I have no idea how I'm gonna do it. Maybe, just maybe that's that's it. Then the all rotten parts are off. A little bit sketchy to take a dump now. But I will take all the boards off of course and the toilet seat. So I can take all the isolation away and take the floorboards, the down one floorboards, which are in here. They are a little bit wet. Also, I have to take them away too. And that's about it. Again I'm milling some wood. I need to make one beam for home kitchen floor over here or two beams or three beams and I get the rest of them uh, building that's been taken down there is a few beams over there but this one I have to do by myself. Here are the beams that I need 
upper floor. Now we are finally at the point, in a turning point, when you stop ripping shit off and start putting new things in. I've been saying this a few times earlier, but now I'm definitely sure that everything moist and rotten and stuff like that is taken away and new flop beams are in. And now I start to put new wood inside inside the house. Uh, tomorrow I have to go to day job and they're gonna be long days but I have to try to build this all the same. The days might be really long. Still. And this is the reason why nothing happens on the sauna build now. It's on hold until this this stuff is done. There are the new beams. All the rotten is taken away and looking good now. I found some kind of a Animal creature, alien, de -de 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 -de, under the floorboards. It looks quite funny. Not funny, but creepy. Over here. I think it's a dried up cat. I don't know how long it's been there, but it's like mummy or crispy. We are using this protection cardboard on the bottom before we put isolation on there so they keep keep the other so they don't fall fall down. This is good because there is no plastic 
no plastic in it so it should work nicely and this is really cheap Remppa suojapahvi Projection paper Finally, we are at the point when uh, I can start putting final surfaces. These floorboards, this is most rewarding part of the job when you are on the top of the floor. And after that, just paint, and that's it. Kids, don't try this at home.
Sunday evening now and uh, it's about two weeks. Uh, it's ex exactly two weeks from from the beginning when we started ripping things apart in our winter home kitchen. And uh, it's been quite long two weeks especially this week because I had to be at the day job all the days and it's so far away and so it takes about 11 hours a day to go there and after that doing this and this is the this is where we are now New floorboards. New floorboards are in in kitchen. They need to be painted. And I have to take those cabins and fridge and stuff like that back. Stop. Uh, and this floor is done now. And this is still undone, but uh, it's just missing floorboards and a toilet seat. Uh, and of course, I have to put these, these back. I don't know what these are called. For the, this part like this Jalkalista, I don't know what they are in, in, in English. Yeah. Mouth dead. Mm. And I finally heard, no oh, it was a week ago but still, I heard about insurance company and they are, they said that they're gonna pay all the stuff that I put in and and they pay me for working also, so that was really good. I don't get rich in this, doing this but still better than nothing. All the stuff costed about 2000 or 1500 maybe altogether and about 100 hours or 120, 130, I don't know, something between 100 and 200 hours of work. And maybe that's the reason why we pay insurance bills. Yeah, I'm getting really tired now. It's hard, hard to talk even. I need to go to sleep. Okay, bye bye.